Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chloe, and today we're gonna be doing a read aloud. So we're gonna be reading Unicorn Diaries, The Glitter Bug. This is book nine, and we're gonna get started, and it's by Rebecca Elliott. So like and subscribe, and let's start reading. The Glitter Bug. Table of Contents. Chapter one, hello. Ah, choo, Sunday. Excuse me, diary, I don't know why, but I keep sneezing. Anyway, hello, it's me, Bo, short for rainbow. Ah, choo, Tinseltail. Oops, ah, choo isn't my middle name. Did you know unicorns sneeze glitter? Let me tell you some other glittery good things about us while I tidy up. Maybe she has a cold. Here's a map of my home, the wonderful Sparkle Groove Forest. Lots of magical creatures live here, and others visit, like Kitasoons. Here's what I know about Kitasoons. You say their name like this, ki tsu su -nas. Okay. They look like foxes, but have lots of tails. They earn up the nine tails for doing kind and clever things. They heal creatures in exchange for gold. Now back to unicorns. Here are some facts about us. Horn, useful for planting flowers in the ground. Eyes, when we look at stars, our eyes twinkle. Nose, sneezing makes a lot of glitter. Mouth, when we, soar it, when we snore, it sounds like music. She's so pretty. Look at her. Look at her eyes. It looks like makeup. Want to learn more unicorn facts? Our horns glow when we're nervous. They also glow when it's dark or when we want to read. We live in unipods. We only eat very colorful food. Purple cupcakes. I mean, cupkins. Golden glow cake. Rainbow super soup. Lucky lollipops. Our favorite things are laughter, friendship, and rainbows. I love the smell of books. My friends and I go to Sparkle Groove School for Unicorns, SSU. Our teacher is Mr. Rumtwinkle. He's a shapeshifter unicorn, so sometimes he's difficult to spot. All unicorns have different unicorn powers. I'm a wish unicorn, so I can grant one wish every week. Here are all of my fellow SSU pals and their magical flat powers. Nutmeg silver tips, flying unicorn, scarlet sugar lumps, thingamob unicorn, jet glitter rock, weather unicorn, Monty dumpling, size changer unicorn, Piper Forstein healer unicorn, sunny huckleberry, crystal clear unicorn, and her best friend. At school, we learn glitterific stuff like rainbow dancing, bubble pop, our favorite sport, snow jumping, and Christology, I think. Crystals are super powerful. We learn something new every week that when we succeed, Mr. Rump Twinkle give, gives us a, each a special unicorn patch. I love adding patches to my blanket. Ah, choo! Well, if you're earning a sneeze patch this week, I think I already deserve it. The Night Diary. Chapter 2, The Glitter Bug, Monday. When I woke up today, I was still sneezing. There was glitter all over my cloud bed. I started to worry something could be wrong, so I spoke to my BFF, Sunny. Sunny, I keep... Achoo! Sneezing? Yes, unicorns don't sneeze off, don't get sick often, so this is strange. Don't worry, Bo, we can figure it out. Did you get pepper up your nose? Nope. Well, maybe you're allergic to, um, your horn? I can't be allergic to that. I'm a unicorn. True, but you never know. Achoo! We decided to see if the other unicorns might know what was wrong. Hey, everyone. Wow, where did all this glitter come from? We're all sneezing. No way. So I'm not the only one feeling strange? Achoo! Definitely not. I think we may all have the glitter bug. Hey, who said that? Me, down here. Me, I'm down. Achoo! Actually, now I'm up here. What? Oh, that's Mr. Rumpdunko. What is the glitter bug? Well, it is a cold that only unicorns can get, and the sneezing can... Achoo! 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 Excuse me. As I was saying, the sneezing can, get, can set your powers off. 
Oh no, luckily that hasn't happened to the rest of us yet. Just then, Scarlet did a big sneeze and a confused parrot appeared from her mane. Achoo! Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Jeez Louise, what happened so long? We all kept sneezing and it was so tired and it was tiring us out. What can we do to get well? I know, I'll make everyone feel better. P Piper tried to make her healing powers work, but nothing happened. I know, Bo, I wish we didn't have the glitter bug. I tried to make Sunny's wish come true, but nothing happened. Why aren't our powers working when we want them to, Mr. Rump Twinkle? I'm not sure. Let's all rest for today. Hopefully, we'll feel better in the morning. So, after tidying up lots of glitter, we went to bed early. Oh, diary, I hope we feel better tomorrow. Chapter 3. Sneezy, Sneezy Does It. Tuesday. At breakfast, we were all sneezing. Poor Scarlet kept magicking magicking up stuff from her mane, and Mr. Rump Twinkle kept shape-shifting. Mr. Rump Twinkle and Scarlet seem really sick. Yeah, their sneezes keep setting off their powers. Well, I'm glad you're not as sick as we are. Then we all, then we all sneezed at the same time, and our powers were randomly set off. It was chaos. Oh no, looks like we're all, looks like we're all very sick after all. Look at all those at shoes. After we tidied up all the glitter, Mr. Optinkle had some bad news. Unicorns, I'm sorry. I think you're I think you're all too sick to earn a patch this week. We need to focus on helping one another to to get better. But what if we never stop sneezing? I can't live under a rain cloud forever. Don't worry, I've summoned a kit a kit soon to help to come see us. She'll be here tomorrow. Yay! It's actually not uh, pronounced as Kitsune, but that's how I'm going to call it. So. I've heard Kitsunes have amazing healing powers. Yes, but don't they need to have, don't they need to be paid in gold for their work? Let's just see what this Kitsune says after she takes a look at all of us. At cloud time, everyone was super excited about meeting the Kitsune. I noticed that Sunny looked a bit worried, so I asked what was the matter. I've never been sick before, so I'm just a bit nervous. Oh, don't worry, Sunny. I saw a Kitsune before when I had a fairy pox. They were super gentle and kind, and they can have up to nine tails. Wow, that is cool. Achoo! I'll go get the broom. Chapter 4, Dr. Cloudberry. Wednesday, we were all eating breakfast when I noticed something shiny flying toward us. Look, what is it? Looks like a tiny shooting star. Suddenly, the star flashed and Kitsune appeared in front of us. Hello, I'm Dr. Cloudberry. Sorry about my surprising arrival, but stardust is the best way to travel. Wow. She's so pretty. Dr. Cloudberry was so lovely and friendly. Nice to meet you all. So what seems to be the problem? Well, before Mr. Rumtwinkle could continue, we all had a sneezing fit. Oh my goodness, this is the worst case of the glitter of the glitter bug I have ever seen. But just look at all the pretty sparkles. Then poor Monty sneezed and suddenly changed size. He hit his head on a tree branch. Ouch. Ooh, that looks like it hurts. Will you be able to help us? I will certainly try. The problem is we don't have much gold right now. That's okay. You can pay me in glitter. Wonderful. Thank you. Is glitter special to Kitsunes? No, I just really like doing arts and crafts. Glitter is the best for face painting. That's true. Dr. Cloudberry decided to examine each of us one by one in the Unipod. She asked Piper to help her, and Piper was over the moon. I'd love to help you. I could tell that Sunny was still feeling a bit worried about seeing the doctor. What if we see Mr. Dr. Cloudberry together? Would that help? That would be great. Thanks, Bo. Dr. Cloudberry was so happy to examine me and Sunny at the same time. I think she noticed that Sunny was feeling worried, so she told him a joke. So the patient says, Doctor, doctor, I'm afraid I've gone invisible. And the doctor replies, sorry, I can't see you now. This made both of us giggle and actually helped us to stop sneezing a bit. First, Dr. Cloudberry and Piper took our temperatures. Next, they felt our 
pul uh, pulses. And then they examined our bellies, which made us giggle. Sorry if that tickles. Almost done. That looks fun. Before we left, Dr. Cloudberry asked if we had any questions. I was wondering what about your lovely tails. You have eight, right? I do. And one day, I have. I hope to have nine. Kids soon get more tails for doing kind and clever things. Eight is already quite a lot. Yes, but when you get all nine, your fur changes colors to white and gold. I've been stuck on eight tails for a long time, so I'm not sure if I'll ever get have nine. I think you'll get nine soon. Me too. And me. Oh, thank you, unicorns. When we left, the doctor, Sunny, and I were feeling pretty good. It's great that we're both feeling better already. Maybe we don't have the bug anymore? Then we both sneezed. Achoo! Achoo! Oh. At cloud time, we were still sneezing, but we were happy to have seen the doctor. Dr. Cloudberry is so great. Thank you. And Piper, you did an amazing, amazing job as her helper. Dr. Cloudberry will tell us what she thinks tomorrow. I'm sure she... I'm, I sure hope she can fix us. Diary, what if we never stop sneezing? Chapter 5. Laugh it out. Thursday. This morning we were all still sneezing when Dr. Cloudberry arrived. We were feeling a bit down, but then she told a, she told a joke. Good morning, unicorns. Quick question. What do you wear on your feet that, that, snow, that sounds like a sneeze? A shoe. The joke was so silly, but we all started laughing, and we all stopped sneezing. Hmm, that confirms it. What is it, Dr. Cloudberry? Do you know how to make us better? Yes, Sunny, I believe I do. We all gathered around, excited to hear how Dr. Cloudberry would cure us. Well, unicorns, after all my tests with my assistant, Piper, I, know, I, know, I now know exactly what will make the glitter bug go away. Do we need to take medicine? Yes, a teaspoon. Okay, but will we need, need anything else with the medicine? Well, there is a special trick that will make you feel be better faster. You need to laugh it away. Huh? Wow, it's true. Every time we've laughed, we stop sneezing. Some medicine and lots of laughter is the best cure. So Dr. Cloudberry gave each of us a teaspoon of medicine, but having the glitter bug meant none of us were really felt like laughing. It's difficult to laugh when random things keep popping out of my mane. Yeah, I keep making it rain or blowing a tornado, and I keep changing shape and hitting my head, and I keep losing Sunny when he suddenly goes invisible. How are we supposed to laugh when we keep sneezing and getting interrupted by our powers? Unicorns, you can do this. I have seen that you are all great at being positive even when bad stuff is happening. Dr. Cloudberry is white, right, unicorns? Let's plan a comedy show that you can perform tomorrow. A show? That does sound like fun. Yay! So we spent the rest of the day planning a comedy show. Sunny and I start, started writing jokes. Piper and Jed practiced a funny magic trick. Monty, Skrilla, and Nutmeg worked on a clown act with unicycles and juggling. By cloud time, we were all very tired. So how is your comedy act coming along? Okay, but we keep sneezing and it keeps going wrong. Yeah, us too. Oh, diary, trying to be funny when you feel sick sure is tough and also very tiring. Chapter 6, Clowning Around, Friday. As we practiced for the comedy show, we started losing hope that we could make one another laugh. Our act just keeps going wrong. I know, every time I try not to sneeze, I end up, Hachoo! We put some tables out to build a stage. Do you think this show is going to work? All we can do is try our hardest to make one another laugh. Finally, it was showtime. Hachoo! Our ma other magical creatures turned up to watch our comedy show. Sunny, I'm nervous. Me too, Bo. Let's just try to have fun and see what happens. Feeling a bit shaky on our hooves, Sunny and I went out on stage. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Unicorns Comedy Show. I'm Sunny, and this is my comedy partner, Bo. Achoo! 
Well, actually, my name is... But you! My name is Bo. And if you're wondering what Bo is short for, um, I'm not that short. No, I meant your name, silly. Oh, well, Bo is short for... Re Achoo! Rainbow! I'm s I'm... Oh, dear, diary. We were sneezing so much that all our jokes came out wrong. Next on stage were Piper and Jed. Their magic show also went a bit wrong. For our net first trick, we all we we will magic a rabbit out of this hat. Abracada, achoo! Jed's sneeze made his power go off, and it started to snow on stage. Um, the rabbit doesn't like the cold, so she won't come out. Come out, little rab, little bunny ra, achoo! When Piper sneezed, Jed and Rab and the rabbit ended up covered in bandages. Finally, Monty, Scarlet, and Nutmeg went on stage to do their clown act. Well, they tried to do it. We are the unicorns on unicycles. Then all three of them sneezed. Achoo! 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 I felt so bad that nothing was going right. Monty, Scarlet, and Nutmeg ran off stage to join the rest of us unicorns. That was a disaster, totally. Then I looked out the audience and realized something. Maybe it's okay that our comedy show didn't go as planned. The point of it was to make laughter happen, but we're not laughing. Yes, but look, everyone looked at the audience, which was rolling around laughing. Then we all looked at one another. It was really funny when Sunny said Bo's name was Bud Chu. When Jed made it snow on stage and the rabbit hid, that was hilarious. We burst out laughing too. When Scarlet ended up riding on elef an elephant on a unicycle, that was comedy gold. They're laughing. Doctor, uh, no, not Doctor. Mr. Rub Twinkle and Dr. Cloudberry joined us backstage. You were all so funny. And I think all our laughter combined cured everyone the, of the glitter bug. You're right. I don't feel like sneezing anymore. Us too. Yay. We went out on stage and took a bow. Then Doc, Mr. Rumtwinkle made an announcement. Unicorns, I am so proud that you managed to make one another and all of us laugh. So you have earned a new patch. We were given a laughter patch. Do you know what was the best part of today? What the best part of today was, Sunny? You mean, aside from us finally getting rid of the bu glitter bug? Yes, making others laugh. Oh, you're right. That felt amazing. What a day, diary. I really hope Dr. Claude Berry gets her ninth tail after fixing our bug. Chapter 7, The Golden Kitsune. Saturday. We slept so well last night without any sneezing, but Piper looked sad. So I asked her what was wrong. Now that we're better, Dr. Cloudberry will leave. I know you liked being her helper, Piper. We'll all miss her. Dr. Cloudberry ate breakfast with us before she left. Thank you for curing us, Dr. Cloudberry. Well, really, you made yourselves better by being so funny and taking medicine, too. And thank you for all the glitter. I guess you're... Achoo! Oh, no, you can't still be sick. Don't worry, I just sniffed this pepper to give you more glitter. Ha! Huh. I have a gift for you, too. My scope. <laughs> You're going to be a better healer than me one day. Wow, thank you. With all her glitter, Dr. Cloudberry did one more thing for us before she left. You're going to be a better healer than me one day. Wow, thank you. With all her glitter, Dr. Cloudberry did one more thing for us before she left. Looks like a feast. She used the glitter to face paint all of us. We looked glitterific. Suddenly, sparkles appeared around Dr. Cloudberry. She grew a ninth tail, and her fur changed color too, to white and gold. Oh, wow. Painting our faces must have been the extra kind thing that earned you, you your last tail. After Dr. Cloudberry left, we all sat down for a sneeze-free dinner together. She looks so pretty. And look at their faces. Sonny got a cloud pie all over his face. Wow, look at you. Achoo! Don't ever say achoo again. 
It's true, diary. Laughter really is the best medicine. The end. Alright, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to support me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Love you guys so much. XOXO. Kisses and loves from me.